Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to solve Tableau coding test and this is part two of the video. So without wasting much time, let us get started and see what are the questions that we have. So to start off, first question was again related to the string functions and here the input is Tableau and the output expected is able. Okay, so let us try to get that. I'm going to my Tableau and I've writing it as I'm naming it as some string function here and I'm trying to write. So first what I'm doing is I'm finding out where my able is there. So for that I'm using find function to get the position. So T A B L E A U. Okay. In this I'm searching A B L E. Okay. And I'm clicking on apply to see the result. What am I getting two? So if you see here from at this position, our ABLE is starting, right? So from this, I need four places. That is what I need. So now what I'm doing is on top of this, I'm going to write mid function. And to this, I'm passing my tableau. Okay. And in this, my input is this, which is giving me the starting position of ABLU. Okay. So we got the position of A, right? So from there, I need four, uh, four letters. If I click on apply, A, B, L, E, we got. Okay, so that is how we can write this and get A, B, L, E. So, so part of this thing we are trying to get. Second is Tableau is there and user wanted to print a Tableau developer. How can we do? There are two ways. One is we can directly take the input T, A, B, E, L, U. And we can simply append developer to that. Okay, it should give us Tableau developer. See here. Okay, I can add one space wherever I want. I got that. Let us try an alternate approach. And uh, I'm trying to use the replace function to get this. So replace tableau. Okay. In this, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find u. Okay. If u is there or not. Okay. Because I know that u is at the end, I'm trying to do that. Okay. And when I find that, I want to replace it with developer. Now what will happen wherever it is finding you, which is at the end. Okay. It found, then it will replace that with this string. Click on apply. See, we got that. So this way also we can do. So whatever you feel convenient, you can do that. I've just shown you two methods. Third question is, is telling category item in sample superstore. Okay. I'm taking my uh, category item for now and trying to drop it on row shelf. So we have got three things. Now, what is he telling? He want to append my category is, and he want to print category name in ports. That is the expectation, okay? So let us get that. And I'm trying to write it something like this. Uh, my category. is colon and i'm just trying to give uh, plus category simple for now okay i want to see if this works or not so this is working but user wanted a spa uh, quotes in between so i'm writing it like this this plus okay and uh, Okay, I'm writing it like this and again, here also I'm doing it same. So if you observe this quotes, we are manually putting or independently putting and we are not mixing it with this category item. Now what will happen? 
you see here we are getting symbol here on top of that that way we can do suppose if i directly put here it will make the entire statement into quote and it will consider that as a static one so it is printing category here so this difference we need to remember okay otherwise you'll mess up the calculation so let me remove this yeah so let us see what is the next question now given below is the table of order details write a code to find out number of orders for each customer okay so this is pretty straightforward so customer id is this and number of orders is this so let's say customer one is one customer two is one again two is two so for customer two we have two orders and for customer three also i think we have two orders and customer five one customer four two so it is pretty simple so what we can do is simply take your customer name so instead of a customer id i'm taking customer name and order id i'm taking it on label you see there are so many orders i'm just con converting the aggregation into count so this customer has placed six orders till now like that okay so this is what he is asking here or maybe to be precise we can convert this into distinct so these are the unique orders that customer has placed three three orders for aaron bergman hawkins seven orders like that okay so this is how we can answer this question and next is a uh, given table name consists of food items and its value write an expression to categorize food items and fruit items and non fruit items and compute the value of two groups so for this what i am doing is i am trying to create uh, an excel maybe and i will just try to add that here and we'll save this file okay and we'll try to connect it to that so i'm just saving this as uh part and I'm saving it. And, uh, I'm going to Tableau to connect to that file. So just click on add. So that is Microsoft Excel. And to this, we need to connect. So we got the values. I'm taking food items and the values we got simple. Now we need to separate this uh, food items and fish items basically. So we can do grouping on this, create groups. And I want to add apple, banana, uh, and guava into, and cherry into a group. And I'll write it as fruits. And uh, what is the other question here he asked? If I go to Excel under fruits and non fruits. So I'm just trying to add uh, the other into non fruits. Okay, so we have fruits and non fruits. Click on apply. Okay, so instead of this food items, we can take this group. Okay, and I, we want this to be aggregated. I'll just try to convert it into measure and uh, sum. So we are, because we have a dollar value here and this is in string nature, it is not taking. We need to convert the data type here. So you see here it is string in nature. If I convert it, I mean, now we should be able to get, yeah, fruits is 85, non-fruits is 120. Like that we can do this. So that is something that is important here. Okay, this is one way where we have created groups or we can also write a calculation on top of this to get the same thing. So let us do that. I'm trying to write a calculation and again, you can uh, try to do it and in another format, fruits or non-fruits. I'm writing case statement, case of food items when uh, it is 
So to know the values, let us take this and drop it here. So when it is when Apple uh, then then print the fruit. Okay. So like that, I am writing it for all of the possible values that we have. I think we have one, two, three, four, right? Two, three, four. You can do it using if statement also. And you can also create group, whatever you feel you can do. I'm just showing you multiple approaches here. Again, just implementing this in multiple ways will bring us uh, just confidence. Else, it is a non-fruit for me and end it. It is valid. Click on apply. Let us validate this. I'm just going to drop it here. So it is printing the same thing. See, as is as the group is printing, it is printing same. I can remove this and or this also. It is giving us same result. Okay. That way we can write and find out the calculation. So that is the third question. Now simple write an expression to compute LOD calculation to compute the sales. So here it is asking for each salesperson what is the sales value. So same thing I think we can do it at the customer level also. So I'm just taking uh, writing sales per customer. I'm writing fixed LOD, customer name, sales. For each customer, give me sales. That is the, that is how we can uh, interpret. Click on apply. And if I take this onto label, and if I remove this, this is the sales per customer. So normally if you drag uh, your sales measure also, it should give you same. But because here the question is very specific that he want the sales per customer, then we can do or write an LOD. So we can do it this way. Next question is write an expression to show top five sales. Again, this is very easy. We can simply take customer name to filter shelf, find out top by field, top 10 sales or you can take sales simple anything should give you the same result top 10 customers here okay so that way we can do it okay i hope uh, i think that's it from my side in this video i hope this video was useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day